Hi, my name is Madeline Ryle Smith and I'm an artist who works with glass. In my work, I explore degrees of ability and compromise of the human body, as well as interpersonal connection. I make interactive objects that are activated by the body, um, musical instruments, performance, and video art, all using glass in different ways. I've really been wanting to explore connection and interpersonal connection between people in the glass studio. So that is something that is um, a big motivating factor for this piece that we're working on right now. The piece that I'm working on is called Woven Light and it's a video that showcases a group of people coming together in the hot shop, weaving this web um, out of glass. I was really interested in the, the process of how it seemed really performative. It was just beautiful to watch itself, like a bunch of people coming together, like human spiders weaving a big web. Got this commission by Northlands Creative to create this film, and I was so excited because it felt like the stars had aligned. I had an amazing community of friends and colleagues here at RIT who were willing to be part of the performance. It was really great to be with friends again in the hot shop after not having been able to work together for over a year because of the pandemic. So it was really meaningful. My friends and I, Cherry, Gracia, Kayla, Injun, and Renoy, We've been working together for the past several years. Um, <laughs> just kept making sure I got everybody. I think I got very lucky being able to get this grant to make this film at this time when we're all here together and working together. I've had chronic pain for a long time and it's caused periods of isolation in my life in the past. The isolation was really difficult for me to deal with and so that's really uh, caused me to want to experience connection with other people more. There's lots of strong women in the field of class working and I'm, I count myself extremely lucky to have met them and to be um, see them as mentors and to be inspired by them because they have allowed me to see what is really possible with glass and that you don't need to be a really strong macho person being able to lift 50 pounds being able-bodied to be able to do something really exciting in the hot shop so it was very much like a durational art we would spin for, for like about four hours each day um, and it was pretty exhausting, but it was also just really fun to be in the hot shop. Hey Maddie, what are you gonna do with it today? We're gonna burn it to the ground. Whoa. It was actually really hard for me. I took a day to think about if I actually wanted to melt it down because you grow attached to these objects that you spend so long making and you have memories about making them with your friends. Okay, so let's practice one time. Okay. I trust you, Renoy, don't burn me. <laughs>
last day, um, it was kind of this like, almost like a funeral ceremony for the piece where we said goodbye to it. We put on sad, emotional music and um, took turns basically melting it down with these large fluffy torches. And I have to say, it was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen happen in the glass studio. There are these tightly wound woven threads of glass and as the torch goes to them they sort of shrink, shrivel and crumple and um, change color and just melt and droop onto the floor. Um, and it was some of the most bittersweet, gut-wrenching, beautiful um, action I've ever participated in in the hot shop. A big part of our growth, I think, as artists is our interaction between each other in the studio. You know, we'll have casual conversations, um, we'll ask each other to work together, and it's just really been a great way that we've been able to grow, I think, as a group and individually over the past few years. So a big part of my um, inspiration for making work is the people who I'm surrounded with every day. If you are a young person who wants to start working with glass, my biggest advice for you is just persevere. Your first year of working with glass, you're just gonna probably have a lot of fun, make some not so great looking objects, and a lot of things are gonna break. But the great thing about glass is that it's taught me discipline, perseverance, and really the love of process is what it's all about. It's not always about making something. Sometimes it's just about being in the moment, being in the studio and working. And um, that's really where you learn and you can just get better. So it's really about our spent and the dedication. As your relationship with glass grows, so will your skill and the way you can conceptualize about it.